Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be deriving one of the most important equations in the history of physics, namely the kinetic energy formula. Why does the kinetic energy equal to a half mv squared? Well, let's see whether you can derive this formula. Imagine that we have an object that will apply a force f over a certain distance, which are called d. Initially, the speed of the object u is equal to zero, and when the object goes from position one to position two, it accelerates to a speed v. Now, given that information, this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt the derivation. So, are you not sure where to start? Well, do not worry. Have a look at my hints and once again, pause this video, read the hints and have a go at the derivation. Okay guys, so finally, finally let's have a look at the solution. First of all, the uh, kinetic energy will be equal to the amount of work done that has been done onto this object. So the kinetic energy will be equal to the work done. The work done in general is equal to the force multiplied by the uh, displacement or the distance in the direction of the force. So uh, we know that the force is F. We're going to use Newton's second law for this. So I'm going to say that this is equal to MA because this is the only force which is acting in this object on in that particular direction and this will be times d. So if work done is equal to f times d, it's also equal to m times a times d, and rather than work done, because kinetic energy is equal to work done, I'm just going to say that the kinetic energy is equal to m times a times d. Now let's see whether we can find an expression for the acceleration multiplied by the distance. Because the object is accelerating uh, from position 1 to position 2, I can use these SUFAT equations to see if I can determine what the product of the acceleration and the distance is. The equation which I'm going to use is that v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. Now, because in this case the distance traveled is uh, given the symbol d, um, so what I'm going to do is run the right s over here, I'm just going to write d. Additionally, we know that u is equal to 0, so this term over here we can just get rid of this because this is just equal to 0. So what we're left with is that v squared is equal to 2 times a d. Now notice something which is really interesting. Here we have a product of a times d and here we also have the same product as a times d. So what I can do is just rearrange this equation on the right hand side for um, a d and what I'm going to get is that a d will be equal to v squared divided by 2. So what I can do next is literally just substitute this expression for a d back into here. So um, what I will be left with is that the kinetic energy is equal to the mass and rather than AD I'm going to write V squared divided by 2. And voila, this is the formula for kinetic energy that we've been learning since secondary school and we have now finally managed to derive it. How amazing is that? Once again, all we've done is um, said that the kinetic energy, the change in kinetic energy in this case, will be equal to the amount of work done that's been um, done on this uh, particular system. Work done is equal to force times distance. The net force will be equal to ma. So we're left with m times a times d. v squared is equal to u squared plus 2ad. On the other hand, for the velocity, we rearranged for ad and we've substituted that back into this expression. Okay, folks, if there are any questions on this derivation, do let me know. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.